back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so in this video today I have two book reviews for you, these two. They're both actually books I read back to back and they're both about genetic editing so I thought it would be an interesting video to sort of compare the two especially since the rating I gave them was fairly similar. So let's talk about each of these. So the first book I have to talk about is this one, Change Agent by Daniel Saraz or Saraz. This is a story all about a man called Ken who works for Interpol. He has been working with them for a fairly long time and his main job has been writing code so that you can find illegal genetic scientific labs. This is a world where genetic editing is a really really popular and very highly sought after clinical procedure. A lot of different illegal places have opened up to design designer babies and cosmetic enhancements. It's quite crazy how many things can be altered in this day and age and he has been responsible for tracking down some of the biggest, most illegal, most profitable of agencies. So he's got quite a few enemies. We start this book by following him as he is going to, I think, his daughter's um, birthday party. And on the way there, his taxi cab, which is automated, chucks him out in the street and he gets stabbed with a syringe, which completely transforms him into the criminal that he has hunted down in the past. So his whole DNA, everything about him is completely changed into this criminal that he has always been hunting down, which is not ideal. When he wakes up, no one can ID him, and then eventually they ID him as this criminal and he has to go into hiding and go on the run and also try and find out whether or not he can be transformed back, whether it's reversible, what the situation really is. So we follow him on this kind of big epic adventure across different countries as he is trying to work out how to reverse this insane thing that's happened to him. Now what I liked about this was that it was good fun, it was fast paced, it had some interesting concepts and I felt like the author had definitely researched the science in some really cool ways. Some of the ideas in this were definitely really really well put together and thought out but equally it did feel like a lot of the actual plot line rather than the science felt a little bit thrown together. Some things were very convenient, some things were a bit unbelievable, it's all a little bit like a spy film or an action film rather than a sort of believable adventure. So it does have its weaknesses, but it's a fun story. I enjoyed it a lot and I ended up giving it a 3.5 stars. So I would love to hear if you guys have read anything else by this author. I hear from a couple people that they have and that they think he writes quite interesting science related books. So if you have other recommendations that sound similar or are by this author, then do let me know because I would be interested in possibly picking up more. Moving on to actually one of the books that I read for the Welcome Book Prize. I don't usually review them because I do a live show with Eleanor talking about them, but I felt like I wanted to review this one because I enjoyed it and I thought it was a really interesting concept. And that is Perfect People by Peter James first Peter James book I've ever read. He seems to write mostly thrillers and sort of crime thrillers, but this isn't quite that. This follows a young couple, John and Naomi Clarkson, who are grieving the death of their son. He died from this very, very rare genetic illness that he had, and it was a really horrible illness that was kind of inevitable because of their genes. They didn't know it when they obviously gave birth to him, but because they both had this same gene, they gave their son this very rare genetic disorder, and he eventually died in a horrible, very painful way. So they're grieving over the loss of him, and they've heard about this genetic clinic which is run by Dr. Leo de Torre, and apparently this guy is incredibly sort of eccentric and famous in the scientific world. Um, the husband of this couple, John, he's actually a scientist, so he's done a lot of research into this doctor and he believes that he has the ability to do what he says, which is to design designer babies. He is able to manipulate the genomes and manipulate the DNA to give this baby whatever it is that they think you will need to get ahead in life. So the couple go and they decide that they will get edited and they do end up pregnant and they do end up having a baby but it is not at all what they expect and it turns out that this doctor may well have had an agenda entirely his own which they did not know about and they then cannot find him after that at all. So it's a pretty interesting concept and it has definitely got thriller elements to it. There is a sort of crime involvement from a cult who are after the designer babies 
To be honest, I could have dropped that bit. I wasn't hugely interested in the cult religious crazies that were put into the book. I feel like they were there for drama more than plot. But with that said, the idea of designer babies and the idea of the babies that we end up with, I love the concepts that they had for the different children in this book. They are so interesting. There's some really cool twists on them. There's some really disturbing moments like these children because they've been altered. Is it right to alter them? Is it not right to alter them? What is the real reason for altering them? Is it justifiable? There's so many questions that I'd never thought of before before reading this and I think this book raised an awful lot of questions, an awful lot of queries and want to go and find out more. Like I didn't know an awful lot about gene editing before I read this. I still don't. I mean it's fiction. But it made me curious. It made me really want to know how close we are to this being possible. Is it possible now? I don't know. But I'm curious about it and I feel like the two children that we focus in on predominantly in this book really fascinated me. They had some very sinister sides, they were creepy, they were fascinating and intelligent and brilliant and very weird as well. So there's a lot that happens in this book and we also see it from the parent point of view which I liked a lot too. It was just very well done. It's quite a hefty book and to be honest I think if we'd cut out the religious cult drama then it would have been a better book. But with that said, I really enjoyed it. I found myself easily wanting to read this and know more and know what was going to happen next. So again, I gave this a 3.5. It was close to 4. Not quite, but it was close. So those are my reviews of those two books, both about gene editing. I'd love to hear which one appeals more to you. They both have a kind of thriller element. They both have a science element. They both have an interesting plot. I don't know. I want to know more about genetics now. I'm so intrigued. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one appeals to you. And let me know if you have any other recommendations that are similar or something that might be in the same vein. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book and come back and chat with me again.